I'd just like to make a quick video here addressing something that I've been hearing a lot and that is that people keep saying that we can use the word Trinity because the word Bible is not in the Bible and the word, you know, all these words that are not in the Bible, rapture is not in the Bible and, and yet we believe in the rapture, we believe in the Bible and yet, you know, Trinity is a, is a great description of God and whatever else and things. Um, if you're a Bible believing Christian, you need to abandon the word Trinity. Uh, let me give you the reason why here. Read something for you here. Prayers to the Blessed Trinity. Our prayer life should manifest the fact that the Blessed Trinity constitutes the central reality for Christians. Our entire lives are lived in the loving embrace of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God the Father is the Creator, God the Son is the Redeemer, and God the Holy Spirit is the Sanctifier, but not in such a way that the Son and the Holy Spirit are excluded from creation, or the Father and the Holy Spirit from redemption, or the Father and the Son from sanctification. And it goes on, Prayer and Praise of the Trinity. I venerate and glorify you, O most blessed Trinity, in union with that ineffable glory which, with which God the Father in his omnipotence honors the Holy Spirit forever. I magnify and bless you, O most blessed Trinity, in union with that most reverent glory with which the God, God the Son in his ineffable wisdom glorifies the Father and the Holy Spirit forever. I adore and extol you, O most blessed Trinity in union with that most adequate and befitting glory with which the Holy Spirit in his unchangeable goodness extols the Father and the Son forever. You say, what is that? Uh, the Order of Malta Catholic Book of Prayers, right there. Um, you see, the fact of the matter is, the word Trinity is actually a name. It is a title. It isn't like saying, well, this book here is called the Bible, right? Uh, no, it's actually a name given. Um, let me say it's, it's, a, it's a better way to describe uh, the Godhead. Godhead is just so out of touch or whatever else. Well, it's, it's the word that God chose three times in your King James Bible. And yet he never wrote the word Trinity for a reason. And you say, well, that Catholics say blessed Trinity and things. Oh, really? God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Oh, uh, how many Christians sing that hymn? You say, well, what should we do? Change the hymn? Was it, uh, don't sing it. It's a blasphemous title for Jesus Christ, invented by a lost heretic, Tertullian, I believe is a lost man, one of these wicked church fathers, uh, over a hundred years after the Bible was completed. Hmm. And yet you'll defend that word Trinity, because you see it's a false god. It's a false god that will be showing up on the earth in the form of the Antichrist, the false prophet, and Satan, the dragon. Hmm. Yet you insist on using it. You know, it'd be kind of like me coming out and saying, uh, I don't like the name Jesus anymore. It's just not really accurate. It's, it's just kind of, you know, it doesn't really convey the most about him or whatever else. So let's just call him Herbert. Uh, have, uh, did you know that Herbert died for your sins? You say, well, that, that'd be blasphemous. And it's not blasphemous to use the word Trinity? You see, there are certain words that can be used to describe things in Scripture. But when you take a word, a woman's name, Trinity, and say, I'm going to make that a description of God and a name for God. Most blessed Trinity. And then I see all these wicked people that profess to be Bible-believing Christians. And they come out and they say, how dare you attack the most blessed Trinity. You sound like a Catholic to me. You're not a Bible believer. I can tell you that. Um, I want to stand on Jesus Christ and on the King James Bible. And I'm not going to enter in all these Catholic words and terminology and stuff like that. Okay? I'll stand on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. You see? I want the firm foundation of the Lord Jesus Christ and of His Word, the King James Bible. And a word like Blessed Trinity or Trinity, uh, I, I dumped that from my language. I used to use it ignorantly. Didn't really understand the implications of the whole thing. Um, but... Why is it that you will fight over the word Trinity? You'll fight for a word that God never put, God never inspired in his word. Let me ask you that, you Trinitarians out there. Um, did God inspire the word Trinity? 
Uh, if you say yes to that, if God's for that word, then you, you believe in extra biblical revelation. It's, un, it's unscriptural. And it's, it's not some word like Bible. I don't have a problem with the word Bible. It is a name for God. That's why you call it the Blessed Trinity. That's a name. Blessed woman's name. Interesting because the Catholics have a female goddess, the Queen of Heaven. Hmm. And you call Trinity. And by the way, they do have an earthly Trinity that includes Mary. The mother of God. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever. I'll tell you what, you need to repent of that wicked name Trinity. Even if you want to stick to the thing of three persons and whatever else, which is also not in Scripture. I know where does the Bible say persons in regards to the Godhead. Look up all the words to persons, by the way. They're almost all negative. I think they actually, they might be all negative. Uh, it's an interesting study. I had a brother bring that up. Um, Hmm. But even if you want to stick with the teaching that there are three separate in heaven and they're not, this one's not that one and that one's not that one and all this stuff like that. Um, if you want to stick with that, uh, at least dump the word Trinity. It's not in your King James Bible. Unless you believe that God revealed it to a lost man a hundred years after the Bible was finished. Approximately a hundred years after the Bible is finished. Um, that's a problem. I would suggest that you stick with what the King James Bible says, Godhead. Um, there is no, well, there's not really, it's not really clear in scripture. So we need to invent some kind of a word or whatever else. Uh, no, actually it's crystal clear. Godhead, the Lord Jesus Christ. The name for the Godhead is the Lord, by the way. I can say that too. You better get right with God. If you are a Trinitarian, a militant, hardcore uh, foaming at the mouth Trinitarian that, that says the people are lost that deny the Trinity. It's so funny too because you'll judge me for saying I believe you're lost if you're a militant Trinitarian but then you can turn around and judge me and say I'm lost. I have a standard King James Bible. You have a standard too. The Catholics I guess apparently. Um, drop the word Trinity. Alright let me show you real quickly here this uh, book the Order of Malta, Catholic Book of Prayers, on page 104 and 105, you have this wicked prayer to this satanic blessed trinity. No basis in scripture at all. Right there you have it. And how can you witness to a Catholic? How can you truly say, oh, I'm an ex-Catholic or whatever else like that, or I'm not a Catholic? But yet you'll use their word for their God, the Blessed Trinity. A word that does not appear in the King James Bible. That's a problem. That's a big problem.